Afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Bill Rentschler in the 1011 Now streaming studio. Wanted to bring you an update. Uh, it's Thursday, and that means it's uh, drought monitor day. So wanted to bring you an update on the latest drought conditions that we had across the state. And we do have some good news uh, in that we did see uh, some significant improvement uh, in the drought conditions, at least across some areas of the state. Some areas, especially in eastern, northeastern Nebraska, remain under, uh, again, extreme uh, to even exceptional drought uh, but again, we did at least see some improvements and again, probably some of the biggest improvements that we've seen uh, in almost a year. So let's go ahead and pull up the graphics. We'll look at the drought monitor from one week ago. And again, you can see, uh, again, uh, the red is the extreme drought and that dark red is the exceptional drought. And we had uh, a huge chunk of the state, uh, almost 50% of the state under extreme drought conditions, including into parts of western Lancaster County, exceptional drought across parts of the northeast and into far southwestern sections of the state. So again, uh, we've been talking about this uh, quite a lot over the past several months and really again over the past year or so so again conditions not uh not all that great but again recent heavy rains over the last two weeks particularly across the western sections of the state they've seen three four hundred five hundred percent of normal uh, rainfall uh, through the first half of may has led to some significant improvements in those drought conditions so if we look at the drought monitor that was released this morning Again, you can see significant changes, particularly across the western sections of the state, where all that extreme drought, uh, again, has basically uh, gone down a class to the severe drought category. So, again, if I go back again, again, just so you can see, uh, again, this was one week ago, and then this is the latest. So, again... Uh, significant improvement across parts of central and western sections of the state. In fact, again, uh, we saw uh, over 30% improvement uh, in the extreme drought category. Again, going from near 50% of the state uh, under extreme drought to about 16.5%. Uh, the severe drought category, again, still have 70% of the state uh, under severe drought, but that dropped 10%, again, from up near 80%. And again, the moderate drought category, uh, again, was up almost at 100%, and it dropped a little over 12% from last week to this week. So again, that is good news concerning those drought conditions. Still have, again, extreme and exceptional drought across parts of central and eastern, northeastern Nebraska. Again, the worst of it continues to be centered across the northeast, up near Norfolk, Columbus, up towards the Wayne area. Again, those areas did see rain uh, last Friday. Um, and again, that would have been uh, included in this week's uh, drought monitor, but again, still uh, well short of where they should be uh, in terms of rainfall. So again, still have those uh, ex extreme to exceptional drought conditions across the Northeast. If you look at the drought over the past year, again, like I mentioned, this is really uh, one of the biggest improvements we've seen in the drought monitor over the course of the past year, especially for the extreme drought category. Again, you can see that precipitous drop um, in the extreme drought and again every category dropping from last week to this week uh, but again still have a good chunk of the state under the severe drought so again still have work to do but again at least uh, made a pretty big dent in it uh, with the rains that we've seen over the past two weeks in terms of uh, precipitation over the next week this is a look at the seven-day precipitation potential again most of the state looking like they could pick up a quarter to a half an inch of moisture maybe some higher amounts in the far uh, southwestern panhandle into southwestern nebraska Again, no big uh, rainstorms expected as we had over the course of the next seven days. In fact, pretty dry weather looks like, according to the seven-day forecast, do have a chance for moisture. Scattered moisture tonight as cold front kind of drops through the area. But again, past our, our chance today, chances for moisture were not really in the forecast for much of us uh, through the weekend and through uh, the early part of the week next week. If you look at the 6 to 10-day precipitation outlook, it does, uh, again, it is green. Green is good. Uh, it would favor above average precipitation uh, across much of the central and northern plains. Uh, that's May 24th through May 28th. The 8 to 14-day precipitation outlook, which again takes us through the end of May to the beginning of June, also, again, for most of the state, would tend to favor above average precipitation. So, again, we'd like to continue to see that and like to continue to realize those conditions, again, to continue to put uh, more dents in that drought monitor. But, again, the good news uh, with the, this morning's release is that we did have significant improvements uh, in those drought conditions across the state. Again, this was what it looked like one week ago, and this is the most recent drought monitor that we had released early this morning. So, again, at least uh, rather be trending in this direction uh, than in the opposite direction. So, as always, again, keep it tuned to 1011, uh, both on air and online for uh, all of the latest uh, in terms of the drought monitor and, again, all of the latest news, weather, and sports uh, as well. So, again, thanks for watching, and I hope everyone uh, has a nice rest of their Thursday.